normally we have this set of mechanisms to protect us against germs and viruses and other harms that might be there in the environment. But sometimes your own body starts recognizing as something strange or foreign, your own parts of your own cells. In this condition in particular, it attacks a receptor called NMDA in your brain. People who have this condition can start initially by having subtle memory problems. Usually it's what we call anterograde uh, amnesia. Or, so it's things with day-to-day -day task appointments, things like that, but it quickly progresses. It gets worse and worse to the point that it doesn't, it doesn't let you function. The treatment is a combination of immunotherapies. It's not yet one standardized treatment. There's not one way to treat this condition. What they search is to dampen down your immune response so that your own body is not attacking that receptor. It's not a very common condition like, for example, the flu or something like that. Uh, but it is one of the most common causes of encephalitis that, that we can uh, diagnose and now treat. It is very important to have a, uh, an early contact with specialists and subspecialists that are familiar with this condition and that have that technology to treat it. So here at Baptist Health, we have the neurologists, the specialists that are required to diagnose this condition, and we have all the tools to treat it as well. So I think the, um, I think the movie does a good job at capturing the initial presentation of the disease and how people struggle to find a diagnosis. I think it's still misdiagnosed quite a bit at the beginning because it looks like some of the other most more common conditions. And it can take some testing and going back to the physician and going back to the hospital to get the correct diagnosis sometimes. So I think that's, that's portrayed accurately. Also the symptoms, the, the complaints that the patient has and how she tries to deal with all of these changes that are happening are also portrayed quite well. And it will raise awareness for the people in general about this condition, but also I think for other non neurologist specialists that there is a condition that looks a lot like psychiatric disease that we can actually treat.